Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. The Pikeville Police Department received a call Thursday of a female passed out in a vehicle at Walmart with a young child present. When officers arrived on scene, they found several bystanders standing outside the car trying to get the female woke up. The young child that was poorly clothed, didn't even have pants on, was, was shivering. Uh, one of the windows was down in the car, temperature was in the 30s. Police then put the child in a police cruiser to warm up. After searching the vehicle, a crystal-like substance that appeared to be meth was found in the floorboard. The mother of the child, 28-year-old Heather Leanne Pennington of Prestonsburg, was transported to Pikeville Medical Center to be treated for an overdose. She was later released and taken to the Pike County Detention Center. She was charged with wanton endangerment, possession of a controlled substance, and public intoxication. While speaking with a young child, the child let the officers know that she had a sister that was also inside Walmart with another female. Officers was able to locate that female and the child inside the store. The female was Tiffany Lewis, who was also intoxicated. 31-year-old Tiffany Dawn Lewis of Prestonsburg was arrested and charged at the scene. She was lodged in the Pike County Detention Center and charged with promoting contraband, several counts of possession of a controlled substance, and prescription of a controlled substance not in a proper container. She was warned several times that if she had any illegal drugs on her, that you know she would be charged inside the jail. Uh, she did try to sneak drugs inside the jail in her underwear, uh, several illegal narcotics. The two children were placed into protective custody and turned over to social services at the Pikeville Police Department. It is unclear whether the children needed or received medical treatment. In Pikeville, Shelby Porter, EKB News.